If you are so tired of getting ready in a dingy bathroom with no storage that just doesn't work for you, this episode is for you. Come along with me as I turn our tiny rental space bathroom from blah into spa. Let's go. This is part one in a two-part tiny bathroom redo. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you can see my next video. I'm Shannon, small space decor and organization expert, and I'll teach you how to live an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget, whether you're living in a small home by choice or by chance. If I can do it, you can too. So let's embrace small space freedom together and create a haven we love to come home to. Just in case you think my home looks perfect, here's proof that it doesn't. My husband and I recently downsized from a six-bedroom McMansion to a tiny three-bedroom love cottage once our kids were grown and flown. We were used to a lot more space in our master bath, and so this smaller space quickly became cluttered with all the things that we thought we needed on a daily basis. One of my goals was to streamline our daily routine, especially mine, to really just have the things that I truly use. This smaller bathroom has one dedicated medicine cabinet, but you know, a medicine cabinet does not have to hold medicine. And most of the things I kept in there were not things I used on a daily basis. So I started by cleaning it thoroughly and then putting some shelf paper down just for a little bit better grip. Next, I took time to really think about what would fit in there and what would be the most convenient for me as far as my daily routine. On a recent trip to Ikea, I came across these three jars with self-closing lids, and I thought that these would be perfect for my bathroom essentials that I use every day. That is mouthwash, nail polish remover, and alcohol. The size of these new glass bottles fits perfectly in my medicine cabinet, and I also don't have to worry about losing the lids. Now you can see the size savings that I have from the original bottles that I was keeping these three liquids in to what I'm transferring them to. And I'm also printing out some custom made labels. Now you're welcome to download these by clicking on the link below. Because I'm attaching these labels to bottles that are going to be in a high humidity environment, I wanted to really make sure they stuck very securely. So I used some contact paper along with some Loctite spray adhesive to get those on these bottles. And then I prepared the bottles by making sure any residue was gone and rubbing them with alcohol. When you print these labels, you can make them whatever size you like. I probably should have made them a little bit smaller, but I decided to make the size work by cutting them down to the shape of that bottle. If you're new to Skip to My Life, a great big welcome. I sure hope that you will subscribe to our channel. We have so much fun, and I have a lot of spring inspiration coming up for you. If you're really tired of gloppy toothpaste, I have a solution for you. I purchased this from Dollar Tree, this brand, and it has a picture of a zipper on the side. You can actually remove that label. I keep mine stored upside down so it's really easy to use, and I can always see how much is left without any gooey, sticky mess. This medicine cabinet redo contains only my essential items for when I get ready in the morning and before bed, and I just love the new, clean, fresh look. Another storage dilemma in a very small bathroom is where to keep jewelry, and for me especially earrings. I decided to try a new idea by using these little medicine dividers from Dollar Tree along with some of these fastener strips. Now, I want you to watch very carefully if you are interested in duplicating this idea because the most important thing about this is that you put these medicine dividers in upside down. If you miss that step, your jewelry will be falling all over your countertop and it will not be fun. 
When you're organizing a small bathroom, don't forget to use the backs of the doors of your cabinets. It is like a gold mine of storage space for you. And I was able to hold every single pair of my earrings by attaching these medicine dividers with the Velcro strips to the door of my medicine cabinet. Now this way, if I decide to go on a trip, all I need to do is pop off one of those jewelry dividers and throw it in my suitcase and I'm good to go. You can also use command strips for the same purpose. And don't worry, we are gonna be taking off those letters of the black days of the week decals in just a minute. I'm gonna save you a lot of time and frustration by showing you the technique that worked best for me to take off these decals. I simply soaked a cotton ball in nail polish remover and the secret is to leave it setting on top for about a minute. Once you do that, the decals will wipe right off, but if you don't do that, you can scrub and scrub and those little things will not come off. And here's my finished product. I can see through which pair of earrings I am looking for and I couldn't be happier with the way this daily storage is gonna work for me. We originally had a large cubicle sitting in the middle of our counter thinking that would help us with storage, but it quickly just became a catch-all for clutter. So we decided to mount some shelves on top of our vanity mirror, and my husband was really the mastermind of this particular project. We priced out the cost just to get two by fours and finished them ourselves. And these Rubbermaid coated white shelves actually came out less expensive. He was also to, able to find some simple metal brackets that he felt would be really sturdy for this project. Both the brackets and the shelving were found at Lowe's. And my husband is the kind of guy that if he's going to do a project, he is going to make sure it lasts and it holds. So he did a terrific job of attaching those brackets before he put it up. And then once it's up on that wall, I know it is never going to fall on my head when I'm getting ready. We were able to use those same fabric cubes we had used in that storage holder that we had on our counter. They fit just right. I had them in an off-white color and these were purchased at Walmart for $5 a piece. Now I decided to store all of our extra shampoos, hand soaps, and things like that in those bins. Another place you can save a lot of space in a smaller bathroom is by installing hooks. Now we had just gotten in the habit of throwing our bath towels over the shower and I wasn't real happy with the way that that looked. So I removed all the towel rods. Now this particular one just was not working for us. It was right over the toilet and without getting into a lot of details. Every time you stood up, you would bump your head on the corner. So it just wasn't practical. And then these other ring towel holders to me look just very dated. So I removed all of those. Now I am gonna show you the beginning of the redo for this. We purchased these hooks very reasonably at Ikea and used them both for hand towels and bath towels. But if you wanna see the finished product, you will have to click on my next video in this series of our tiny bathroom redo. So what I'm showing you is kind Kind of a teaser how this project turned out but the finished product will be in the next video if you're getting some good ideas don't forget to click that like button when you're sharing a bathroom space with another person, it's great to be respectful of what they need. And my husband was really attached to this idea of a plastic drawer holder on the counter, but I wanted to upgrade. So I was determined to find another system. And I went to one of my favorite stores. It's called Daiso, and it's a Japanese version of the Dollar Tree. They have tons and tons of acrylic organizers, and I knew I could custom something that would work really well well. If you don't have a Daiso store in your area, no worries. I have attached a link to an Amazon similar item that's already put together for you for a very reasonable price. So you just want to look for that in my description box. 
My custom acrylic counter storage consisted of three different shapes. The first is this vertical storage. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna use that at this point. But then the second was a larger drawer and the third was a stack of three smaller drawers. So I simply hot glued all these components together to make this custom acrylic organizer. If you're a friend of Skip To My Life already, comment below and let me know which of these ideas you think you would use right away in your bathroom. I love reading each and every one of your comments and making friends with each of you. I originally thought my husband would be using this piece, but when I saw how cute it turned out and it was really more for smaller hands, the knobs just were too tiny for him, I ended up deciding that I wanted to use it for my makeup essentials, my hair ties, and things like that. So I love having it on my counter in the morning. It really consolidates everything I need and it looks attractive. Comment below and let me know if you have ever had a countertop like this. My husband and I both joke that it's like camouflaging an octopus on the sea floor. This countertop is great because you can't see a lot of dirt, but if you set something on it, it just disappears, especially if you're like us and you need glasses. So as a result, I ended up with this beautiful little tray from Ikea that provides the contrast I need to find things that I sit down. I attach my custom labels to three clear glass jars from Dollar Tree. One is for cotton balls, one's for cotton swabs, and the other for bath salts. So I think we're off to a wonderful start in our tiny bathroom redo. We started by clearing a lot of that clutter, and now I'm so inspired to finish this space with some decor touches. bathroom redo is going to be getting that space totally decluttered and organized and I'm going to show you how to do that when you click on the next video which is how to organize a small space bath until we see each other next time don't forget today is not the end of your story don't give up this is Shannon from skip to my life